There's so much great stuff in here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, why I switched from normal saline to lactated ringers. I did this a couple of months ago, um, shortly after getting my port. Um, admittedly, my initial reason for switching was a lot less based in science and more based on the fact that there's a national shortage of normal saline. This has a lot to do with the situation in Puerto Rico, but essentially there's not enough to go around and it is affecting patients. Um, it was limiting my height, how often I could do my hydration. I'm prescribed five times a week. I was only getting three with my normal saline and I wasn't doing good. I heard through support groups, but you know, by word of mouth that lactated ringers worked better. I didn't know much about it. I did a little bit of research and, um, I found, found out they didn't have a shortage, so I'd be able to get my five times a week, and ultimately that's what made me talk to my doctor and uh, say if we could switch. And um, he agreed. I ended up having to change home care agencies as well, which I'm still getting used to, but it was worth the hassle. Um, five times a week is much better than three, even with the lactated ringers, because... My old agency could still only get me three times a week. I still don't understand why. Um, but my new agency, I'm able to have my lactated ringers five times a week. So it's worth the hassle of switching. Um, since switching to lactated ringers, uh, um, I learned a little bit more about how it compares to normal saline. Um, did a little bit more research. I learned that normal saline is actually really just salt water. Um, whereas lactated ringers contains sodium chloride, potassium chloride, sodium lactate, and calcium. So all those electrolytes that you need. Um, lactated ringers is considered a balanced fluid. Normal saline is not. Um, what this means is that lactated ringers blends with your blood better than, than normal saline does. Um. Uh, lactated ringers, like I said, contains more electrolytes than normal saline. Normal saline is just sodium chloride um, in sterile water. It's so because it lactated ringers has those electrolytes in it, it's more effective for rehydration. Um, some studies have even shown that lactated ringers is easier on the body long term, specifically the kidneys. Um, but ultimately, I didn't switch for those reasons. Um, I'm finding that I'm grateful for those reasons. I'm grateful that, um, that, that I'm on a better fluid. I switched because I wanted to feel better. Because um, even at the, with the regular hydration at three times a week, with the normal saline, like I said, I was bedridden um, from my fatigue. And I was still having some syncope issues. Um, since being on the lactated ringers five times a week, I'm feeling much better. And that's ultimately what matters to me. Um, if you're wondering what exactly I've seen improvement in, um, I'm less fatigued. My I, I wear a Fitbit to monitor my heart rate, and I'm noticing that my heart rate is generally staying between 80 and 120. I'm not having any major spikes or drops. My blood pressure is more stable. I'm not having like swings really high or swings really low. I'm My symptoms of my POTS themselves is more manageable. I still jump up and down all over the place when I move. That's POTS. But it's within a more manageable range. Um, I'm also noticing that on the weekends when I'm not infusing, I don't feel as crappy as I did on days that I wasn't infusing the normal saline. Um, and coincidentally, my potassium doesn't drop anymore. I used to have 
little, little small drops in my potassium whenever I felt bad. They'd like draw, I, whenever I ended up in the ER or the hospital or my doctor drew my blood, my potassium would always be just a little bit low. But that's not happening anymore because there's potassium in my lactated ringers. Um, so that's why I switched. I switched because I wanted to feel better and the lactated ringers delivered. Um, is it the right solution for everybody? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you why I switched. Um, but if you're not happy on normal saline, um, if, if you do infusions and you're not happy on normal saline, then maybe you want to talk to your doctor. Um, but that's definitely a decision to be made between you and your doctor. It was, I made my decision with my doctor and it has definitely worked out for the best. Um, so yeah, that's why I switched and I'm glad that I did. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. I'm the Flaming Zebra and I'll catch you next time.